My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can map a custom domain name to your Google Sites created within G Suite. Now, the reason I'm saying it like this is because it is very important to note that there are two ways of doing this. The first is going to be used when you have a private Google account, so an at google.com or at gmail.com. And this is going to be in another video. If you are part of G Suite, G Suite for business, G Suite for education, then you are in the right place. So let's dive into it. Now, the first thing you'll have to do is you need a website. So let's go ahead and open up our Google Sites. Now, before we can get started, we have to publish this site. So make sure that you have a published sites. If you're not sure what to do, just simply find that big button in the top and click on publish. Now, once you've published your website, all you need now is that long URL. So the full published URL. Next, you'll need access to your admin console. So if you are an admin, then this is no problem. You can carry on. If you are not an admin, then you will have to contact or reach out to your admin and have that admin help you to assign a custom domain name. Now go ahead and sign into your admin console. And then I need you to find the Google Sites settings. You're going to click on Apps, G Suite, and then you're going to go into Sites. Now once you're in Sites, you're going to click on Web Address Mapping and expand that menu. Now this is where we're going to add our information. Now do make sure that you already have a domain name purchased. Now you can use various different services. You can use Google Domains, you can use GoDaddy or any other domain register. Now, part of this new menu will say site location, and this is where you're going to select your primary or secondary domain. And this is the one where your published site is located. So go ahead and navigate to the correct one. Now go ahead and take your published URL and put that in the site locator, and then go further down. And that's where you're going to put the new web address, so the one that you would like to use. Now all that's left is click on the add mapping link and this is going to give you a very detailed explanation of how you can set your DNS settings. Now your DNS settings have to be set with your domain provider. So if you had Google domains, then that's where you will set those settings. If you've used something like GoDaddy, that's where you will have to log in. Now the only thing you have to do over there is you're going to have to set your C name and that's going to be set to GHS dot googlehosted.com. Now I'll show you a quick example of how this is done with my domain. So here I am now inside and that's where you're going to now tweak the DNS settings. Now you're going to find the DNS settings for your custom domain and we're going to add a new record. Now the record we're adding is a CNAME record. So go ahead and select CNAME and then we're going to point this to a very specific URL. Now the URL we're pointing this to is GHS dot googlehosted.com. Once this is all done, you can save your records and from now on, you will get access to that custom domain with your Google Sites. So it's a very straightforward process. Do note that once you've done this, new changes to your Google Sites will not go live until you click that publish button again. You do not have to change anything to your DNS settings, that will automatically happen in the back. If you would like to learn even more about Google Sites or how to build it or get a full walkthrough of the platform, click on that video in the cards at the top and you will be taken to a much longer video that will walk you through the entire process of how I would build a website. I hope you found this helpful. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.